Hey guys, this is Just One Guy, and this is my tutorial series, Unity for Noobs. Now, in this episode, we're going to start our third party, uh, third person controller game, and we're just going to set up the movements and the basic camera right now. Now, uh, take that off screen. Now, the regular first part, I mean, the ready, regular third party controller, it doesn't really work for me because it has one problem, and I'll show you right now. Now, you might like this third part, uh, person controller. If you play games like Dragon Age Inquisition, oh, sorry, let me turn it on. It has uh, that type of movement scheme, but that's not really what I'm looking for. I want to set up more of a Skyrim type uh, movement movement system, and I'll show you what I mean right now. Now you can see when we move around. If we try to hit the back key, he doesn't turn. He doesn't walk backwards. What he does is he turns backwards, and then uh, he turns the camera with him. And I really don't want that because that's just not the type of game I want to make. I want to make like an over-the-shoulder third-person uh, RPG game. And so what we're going to do, we're going to modify him so he can walk backwards. We're also going to modify the camera so it uh, it works a little better and it, it has a uh, collision detection. So it won't just go through stuff like this. That won't happen. And that's what we're going to do in today's episode. Now first, before we start this project, you're going to need to download some uh, packages. Most of these come with the standard Unity package. And some others, all of them are free, but uh, the animations to walk backwards, that's going to come in a uh, Mechanism example. I mean, uh, yeah, the Mechanism example project. And we're just taking the walk back animations from that. Now, I'm going to put the, uh, the link to download that in the link below, in the uh, description down below. But the other ones are just a standard... Uh, standard unity package for uh, unity 5 now first we're going to need the camera script and what we're going to take from there is the smooth follow so we're going to need the camera package and this uh, when it first opens and you want to download it just go to the standard assets and if you already opened the project you can always go to assets import assets and it will have it right here we just need prototyping right here and you need, that just gives you these bricks right here which is the prototype floor and the prototype cube and then what we're going to need is the characters which holds the third party controller and then we're going to need the camera which holds our smooth follow script now make sure you download those before starting this project and of course the mechanism uh, example system and the mechanism example system we're just going to be taking the walk pack animations from now let's take a look at the script that I did right here now I've modified it. I've modified the uh, third-party controller. I've wrote it in. Uh, I've rewrote it in JavaScript, and I've modified it to move backwards. And then I rewrote it in C Sharp with the uh, modifications in. Now here's the only thing I really modified right here, and this is the forward amount. This just tells whether I mean how much. This is the speed telling us how much we're moving forward and how much we're moving back. This is all we're going to worry about right now, and this is the function to actually turn the character. Now, what happens is, I'm saying if it's below zero, which is, if it's below zero, it means the character is uh, moving backwards. So if, normally we would just turn, but instead I'm saying no. If it's below zero, I want to create a variable, a float called turn speed, and then I want to get the horizontal axis, and then I want to clamp it between one and, and uh, negative one, and then I want to rotate the character based on the turn speed, and then finally. I want to tell the animator that that's what we want to do so I can play the animations. And that's basically it for the modifications. Now, I'll put these I'll I'll put the uh the link to both these scripts, actually all four of these scripts right here. And this is the C sharp versions and this is the JavaScript versions. And I'll put that all in the link down below just in case you want to download it and just see how it works directly or you don't feel like watching the whole video. Although I suggest you do watch the whole video because if you don't you'll be kind of confused as to how the scripts work. They're all commented out but it just helps if you watch the video. Now let's go for the setup. Okay, the setup isn't anything too complicated. All we want to do is drag the third person controller to the screen, drag, drag the main camera in, uh, create a floor, well not create a floor, just go to prototyping and then go to the prefabs and pull the flooring screen and then pull the cube in and that's basically it and if we go to we go to our main camera you want to take this uh, smooth follow script which will be in the camera uh, the camera scripts thing 
yeah the camera scripts folder and then you put the uh you put the smooth follow now you don't have to go into the camera and follow i mean uh find it like that you could just go in here and type smooth ooh, smooth follow and it'll find it oh almost forgot the second uh well i'll explain this when we get to it the uh, smooth follow with prevents but right now we're just gonna uh, work on the movement uh the wrong character sorry let me turn this character off and i'll show you what we're trying to get to this is how we want our character to act uh, wait a minute i think i disabled it yeah sorry but basically what happens is after uh after we do the modifications to the script and everything like that oof, the character is, you're gonna end up with this the character if you press the back button he won't be able to turn around or nothing like that and that's what we want now you might ask how are we going to get him to move backwards that is going to be done with the animator now you have to go to and open the animator window because it's never open i don't know why unity just in the doesn't open with it probably because it looks a little simpler but you just go to window and animator and that'll open it up then we click on our character Oh, sorry, I already went in there. Click on our character and we'll see this. Then we click on ground it and we'll get his blend tree. Now to explain this blend tree a bit, what this is is all his animations uh for grounded laid out. And this basically plays all the anno I mean out there, sorry. All the idle animations <laughs> mistake there. And it just uh from side to side is turning left to right and up and down it's going forward and back and as you can see he has no back animations to go backwards but this is when he's at half speed he should be walking and full speed he should be running and full speed to the right he should be running right full speed to the left he should be running left and you basically get the gist of it and that's how it works now what we want him to do is move backwards in a straight line we want him to move backwards right and move backwards left so let's set that up Now, after you get the uh, mechanism anime, uh, the mechanism animation examples uh, system from the I mean, uh, project from the link, you should have uh, these walk back animations. Now, you might have to go through and find exactly where they're at, and after you import it into your project. But just to keep this video short, I've just separated them out. But these, the uh, the walk back animations and the walk back turn is in there. I just took the. Uh, the, anim the animations and directly put them in here but if you're new to unity you probably just want to import the package into your uh project and then take the animations out menu i mean uh and then just go look for the animations that's probably a well the easiest way is just to go into the folder and take it out directly if you know how but the problem is when you first get those animations hold on i've already set this up it's not going to look like this. It's going to look like this. I mean, this is the uh, walk straight back animation. Now, as you can see, this is not what we want. What we want is this. Now let me show you how to uh, how to do that. I'm just gonna hold on. now you can see a little line pop up right here. I'm gonna show you when I move this. Uh, come on, computer. And what we're looking for is a nice green spot so we can loop the animation perfectly, where he's walking backwards, not forward. Okay. And the goal is to get that that little thing to green right there. And let's see. Let's click the loop time button. And for the most part, we have them walking back smoothly. And that's what we want. Now we're just going to click this Y button right here. And I'll explain that in a minute. Now, the reason we click this uh, root transform Y is just in case he's walking back in midair, which he should never do because this is an animation based system. But just in case he does, 
we click that Y button and that'll allow gravity to act on him while he's in the air. If we didn't click that Y button and through some odd reasoning he got to walk back in the air, what would happen is he would just uh, walk backwards with no gravity. And this is just a just in case type situation and if we get a glitch, we want to limit the uh, glitch damage. So we'll just click that button just in case. Now I'm going to hit revert because I already set that up, but you hit apply. Now you'll have to do that for the uh, other walk back and turn. Just look for the parts where he's walking backwards left and looking uh, walking backwards right. And at the end, you should have to uh, walk back and look. I mean, your walk left and walk right animations should look like this. Now it's important to note there's no walk right animation. I'll show you right here. This is what you'll uh, get in the beginning. Just use the process I said to separate it out and sit, uh, get this part right here that when he's walking around like that. Now you might say he never walks in the other direction and you're right he doesn't. What you have to do after you click that is on one of them click mirror. Now I believe if you want him to walk left yeah because he only walks right so as you can see we didn't click it here but on the left animation we have to click the mirror button and that'll mirror the animation so he walks in the other direction around and that's how you get that out now at the end you should have those two clips uh, if you were wondering how I renamed it yeah you just rename it right here put the name in right here and it'll rename it and then the walk back animation you should have that one walk back clip okay now we go in here click on the blend tree add three new motion fields there we go go into the walk back uh, anime I mean go into the walk back animation get the walk back clip put that in as first then go to the walk back and turn get the walk back left walk back right and as you can see we can immediately tell that these three don't belong because they're not in order or anything so we're going to click this one to see where it's at. And that's the walk back right. So naturally, we want it over here. In the back to the right. This, hold up. See what this one is. It's the walk back left. So naturally, we want it over here in the back to the left. Just click on it again. And that's how we do that. And finally, we want this last one just right here going backwards. And now if we've done everything right. We have a character that can walk backwards. Now that's our first tutorial and I wanted to get to the camera control today but it looks like we're running a bit long and I don't really like to make super long videos so we're just going to cut it and make part two uh, to uh, with the camera and we're just going to create a camera get it a little closer zoomed in to more Skyrim type feel and then we're going to uh, add the, uh, the script to make it so we don't uh, clip through anything. But we've done pretty good for the first episode. We have our character and he's able to walk back and turn. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And if you want to suggest a tutorial, please suggest a tutorial in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.